Hey, this is Casey, and right now I'm going to be doing a review of the Oracle Tarot by Renee Keith. This is a self-published deck, and I bought it on Etsy from her shop for $50. Um, I was looking at this deck for a really long time beside, before I decided to purchase it because I was a little uh, hesitant about spending that much money on a deck. I usually don't, but ultimately I had to get it because I love it so much. Um, and I haven't regretted it for a second. It doesn't come with a book. And um, it also doesn't have any words on the cards. They're just pictures, so you completely go off on your own intuition. Renee Keith actually posted a video um, holding up all the cards and explaining like what could be possible interpretations for them. And uh, it's really nice. Um, I'll post a link to that video so you can see all the cards because I'm probably not going to show you all of them. And I will also post a link to her Etsy shop if you want to check out um, some of the other stuff that she has. So here's the back of the card and they're not reversible but I don't mind it with this deck. Um, so here are some of the cards. We have like a mermaid's tail and this could mean like a good luck or just chance. Postcard which could mean like sending a message, um, needing to tell somebody something. This card could um, be a breakthrough, or upside down, it could be like feeling trapped. Here's a fire dancer, so it could mean like playing in fire, or like uh, taking a risk. This card could mean like going on a journey. This card could be about uh, listening, maybe paying attention. This card, oh, I love this card. So she has a couple cards in here um, that have body paint because she also does that. And this is a really cool one. It's all about like blending in and camouflage. Um, and also another fun thing about this deck is that all of the, uh, or most of the models are her friends. So I think that adds like kind of a cool touch to this deck because it's very personal. You can tell like there was a lot of a, uh, fun and a lot of hard work put into it and I really can appreciate that. So this is like taking a closer look at things. This is a picture of her wedding and I think that's such a cute idea to throw that in the deck. This is my favorite card and I feel like I'm gonna say that about all of them but like no this is legitimately my favorite card. We have a pregnant woman with dreadlocks covered in tattoos and it's just like I don't know it's so cool. I love it. Um, and I'm sorry that the lighting isn't that great, um, because these are, like, I don't know how good you can see the colors. And they're not, like, super bright, but, like, they're good colors. So, we have a green man card, and I love, like, this idea of body paint. I love it. Um, letting go, this is another one of my favorites. With the balloon, like, it's such a cute idea, and she's like, I don't know, I love it. This could be, like, making music or, like, doing what you love, even if it you know, leaves you broke because he seems like a street performer just kind of going out and I love that so much. Um, this is a creepy card because dolls freak me out but it's about like neglect, maybe like feeling unloved, feeling like you're not getting what you deserve and a like a doll with a missing eye. Like, I don't know. For me, it doesn't get creepier than that. They just freak me out. This is about like confidence and like appreciating what you have and working it. This is about like having a good time with friends or upside down. It could mean like gossip and backstabbers. This is about like paranoia or um, like something from your past, like coming back. This card could mean like keeping a secret or staying quiet about something. This is another one of the uh, body paint cards and I think it's like super cool. I love it. This is actually uh, one of the cards that made me decide that, like, yeah, I want this deck. This card is about balance. Here's another cool one. It's about, like, temptation. And uh, I love that picture. I think it's really neat. And I think the guy who modeled uh, in this picture, he was also Green Man, and he was the taking a closer look card. And he might be a couple others. I think he was the witch doctor uh, somewhere in here. This card could be about, like, losing yourself, seeing your identity fade away. This is like a flow, just like taking life as it comes, things happening on their own. This could be like running away or returning back to something. 
This is about prayer and faith and protection, and I love this card so much. This is about passion and the heat of the moment. This one is like rebellion. So there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of cool cards in here. There's a ton of cool pictures. It covers a lot of ground. And um, the really neat thing about this deck actually is on Renee Keith's Etsy shop, she has additional cards that you can buy for two dollars a piece. So if you want to add more cards uh, to the deck, you can do that. I haven't gotten any yet, but I definitely want to. Um, and I'm pretty sure most of them are limited edition, so, uh, you know, she adds, like, new ones, um, every couple months. So I think that's kind of a cool idea. I like the idea of being able to, like, customize, uh, your own deck. And these cards read super well. Um, everyone that I've read for absolutely adores them, and they've taught me a lot of things that, uh, I wouldn't have known if not for working with, um, a deck that's just, like, completely blank palette. Um, but I love them. The cardstock, I, I don't like. It's very flimsy. Um, and you can already kind of tell, like, they're uh, warping on the sides, but it's a small price to pay. Um, I really do love this deck. I just recommend if you are interested in it, um, be gentle on handling it because I don't normally spend $50 on a deck, but I had to have this. And I got it in a super cool bag, and this is actually one of the cards. Um, so, yeah, you know, I haven't heard a lot about this deck. Um, I'm not really sure how I found it, but it's a gem. I adore it. And um, thank you guys for watching.